Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video on this channel. In this devlog, we want to make sure that we can save our current game state. Because, let's have a look. We have this poor astronaut that is fighting for his life to get some wood. And now, with this hard work, we have this one slot full of wood. But now, if we restart the game, the whole inventory is empty because, of course, we do not have a way to save our game state. So, in this devlog, we're gonna tackle that, so let's dive right into it. At first, I want to create some kind of static system, a save system, which I can call from every class I have. And this is the base of it. So we have just a class for it. This is the save game state method. And in there we're gonna have this world save data, the player save data, the inventory save data, and so on and so forth. And yeah, let's start with adding some content to that. Okay, now let's have a look. We found one wood and now let's just quit this game because I implemented some kind of automatic save when the game is quit. And if we open our save file now, you see, okay, we have the inventory save data with the item ID 0, which should be the wood, and the item amount is 1. So let's have a look if this is matching. Yeah, so as you see, the wood has the ID 0 and we have 1 wood in our inventory. So now let's restart the game and see if this was working. Yeah, you see on the bottom left corner, we have one wood and we can drag and drop this to every tile on this grid nice but that was the easy part now comes the tricky part the world because i procedurally generated this whole world and now i have to find a way to save on what is water what is a solid block on which cell of this grid is an item and what stats it has so this should be not that kind of easy but hey let's tackle that 2000 years later. It took some time, but finally I finished up the save system. And now I can start a brand new game. And you see, here is our world. On the grassland side, there is a kind of lake here, three lakes here, one lake here. And you can see, okay, this is quite recognizable. So let's just quit this game and restart it again. And you should notice that the map stays the same. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Also, you can see that the position is the same. Okay, we can move the player here around. And for example, you see this one lonely tree here. And we're gonna cut it down. And after that, we're gonna collect this wood. So we have one wood and no tree right here. And our player stays right at the this lake here. So let's quit it again. It should be safe by now. And now we can restart the game again. And you see our player is still there. Our player is still by the lake. The tree is gone and we have our wood item right here. Super cool. I managed to do that with a bunch of serializable classes where I have, for example, the inventory save data, as I mentioned earlier, the world save data and the player save data and save all the important data to it. For example, here, the world save data is just a bunch of cells that is getting saved with all its cell data uh, we have right here. And with this save system, we can finally can implement some stuff that makes the game more playable, more content, more shiny objects, <laughs> if you like it like that. Um, because now we have the foundation of a quite working game, we can save a load data and now can finally focus on the fun things. Yeah, and that's it for this devlog. If you liked the video, then please hit the like button. If you have any suggestions regarding my game, then please comment down below. And if you don't want to miss any updates on this game, then subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.